so uh, I am in Brooklyn currently at Tristalian Arts, and I'm here with my good friend Ted Petrovsky, who uh, it's really rare that I don't come back from New York City with uh, some fun new tech from Ted here. And uh, we were playing around with a really, really fun contact trick this evening. Being so, Ted has pretty much taught me everything that I know about uh, contact boy so far. I thought it'd be cool if you got the trick from the horse's mouth. So uh, Ted here is going to show you this nifty little trick and how uh, he came to it. Okay, so contact boy originally started with the idea of a toss into a contact roll, and the toss being giving the handle the energy to propel the ball down the arm. I've been looking into ways to propel the handle, and the uh, first, first thing I ever really tried was catching it under the leg, and then with the crux of my leg, shooting the handle out. Doesn't really get enough energy, and then one day I accidentally stumbled upon this little gem when the boy wrapped around my hand, and I just pulled it out, and I was like, holy crap, energy. Perfect. So that evolved into wrapping, catching in the cradle, pulling out, and then contact roll down the arm. Yeah. This is actually really, really badass because it comes about in a way that you don't really expect. Um, normally, I don't know about you guys, but when I wrap the poi around my hand, I usually do it in such a way that it's going to come back out between the index finger and the thumb, such that I can keep on using the poi, which is short, right? This is going around the other way. It's going around like the heel of the hand, right? Um, once you get there, you basically have to let go with your thumb and your forefinger, and as you pull them apart, that's what initiates the roll. And it's, it's actually a significantly more, uh, there, there's more of an oomph to it than you're going to be expecting. You, you have to put a little bit of effort actually into keeping it from rolling too fast. Yeah, you have to hold that just a little bit. Exactly, yeah. So, um, after we play around with this a little bit, um, and I really think, yeah. Uh, so we, we've seen this in this blog before. This is uh, static spin versus extension. And we know that if we take that static spin into a place where we wrap it shotgun style around one hand and then pop it back out, uh, we can go to this place where it is static versus trichetra, right? And the same thing is true going on the way back. We can pop it back out into extension versus static. Well, it just so happens to be that this is also a great position to be able to wrap up, transfer the poi that is uh, doing the extension move, and then that sets up the alignment to be able to initiate that contact roll. And if you're really, really smooth about it, what you can actually do, not like that, let's set it up is to be able to alternate hands on this. I've been having problems with this all evening. Let's see it. Oh, there it is. Look for two. Yes. yes, awesome. And you know how it pops up in such a way that you can catch them back together in exactly the same alignment, right? Now, the really cool thing we noticed about this trick as we were playing with it was it kind of looks a little bit like a spiral wrap, like you would do with a uh, uh, with a meteor, and then Ted took that and ran with that. Right. So we've all seen it before: the poi looking like a meteor into a spiral wrap. You could then, if you once you uh, gain enough control, go into the meteor spinning, but then only wrap one, and then from there you can catch it into the uh, contact roll. Cleaner and smoother. Awesome. Right. Fairly simple. Yeah, totally. And as one of our friends in here was noting earlier, uh, that, that's a great kind of move that you could pull on a crowd, say, like if you want to start off in a meteor kind of place and don't let the crowd see the handles, if you bust into that trick, they turn into poi out of nowhere. So it's a really cool kind of dynamic uh, element to it, too. So, yeah. Thank you, Ted. Uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate you doing this one with me. Appreciate being on here. How's the idea? Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a great week. Peace.